Howdy! This is a quick video to document uh, the emergency boiler manual fire procedure. Uh, we're here in the mechanical room. We begin, of course, by activating the boiler pump, setting that to hand, and observing that the boiler pump spins and you hear water running. Then, in here in this cabinet, I just want to point out that it is now normal for all these lights to be dark. This thing isn't doing anything, so I've unplugged its power because it's just completely useless. These lights don't do anything, so this can all be dark. There is 24 volts from one of these transformers coming down here and shared across this bus and shared across these things to our relays that control things like the air handler and the uh, combustion air damper. This is the, the relay that controls the combustion air damper. And what it does is it receives a signal from the boiler saying, we want heat. And that signal comes in here. And that switches. This is a double throw relay. So this, the white common wire is, is 24 volts AC. And it's either going out the white or the blue wire here. So power is always being applied to this damper to open yourself or close yourself and then the damper shuts it you know as the motor reaches its either end and just sits there what that means is since we've disabled the main controls there's never going to be a signal here so we just want to pull this relay that means the damper is under manual control now If we didn't do that, if we held in the manual release switch and pushed the damper open, if that relay were in place, the motor would be coming back because it it's, should be trying to close itself now. But we want to just open it manually and by pulling the relay, it will stay put now. And I feel fresh air coming in. So that's, now we're ready to fire the boiler. And of course, we don't have the control box installed. Instead, I have jumpers wired through switches to the pilot light valve and the main valve. So here's my method. And it's not fancy. But I take some alcohol, a tiny amount, pour it into a little metal cup. And I set the cup This is the gas pipe to the pilot light assembly. So when the pilot light valve is open, gas just comes out of here. So I take my trusty lighter, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a little bit of blue flame there coming out of that cup. can turn on the master power and then flip on the pilot light and verify yep lots of flame coming out of there open the main valve nice whoosh and we can turn the pilot off There's still a little flame in that cup, but that alcohol will burn off in a minute or two. There you are. The whole point of that exercise is to be far away from the business end of the boiler. Um, you know, one could imagine opening the gas valve and reaching in with a lighter, but, uh, you know, I value my limbs, so... So, once again, what's uh, this master power switch and the power switch on the side here uh, feeds power to the various stuff as well as this relay box. So the master cutoff switch is still this. If we turn this off, the boiler will go off. But meanwhile, then we have individual control of the main valve on off and the pilot on off. And uh, I think I'll label those on off to be clear. So just to recap, we yank the combustion air damper relay. 
we, man we manually swing open the combustion air damper so that we get fresh air in here. Uh, the boiler pump has been activated and we lit the pilot light and then fired off the main boiler. Now, then this is the most important part. There is nothing that will shut this thing off. So a human has got to stick around and watch this temperature gauge. Once we get up to one, you know, a little above 180, that's the safe range and needs to be powered off until that heat dissipates. Oh, and here's my extra little, little switch here. I have a, the innards of a thermostat just rested up against this hot pipe. When it cools down, it'll rotate back this way and close that mercury switch. And so I'm just going to wire that up to uh, some sort of a monitoring thing that when it receives a closed relay should send us an email. Hopefully. Once our brand new uh, controller has its new flame sensor and we'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.